Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a few weeks since our last update. Um, basically, we had a little bit of a delay after pouring our um, liquid insulation and doing all of our work from our last video. Um, and we unfortunately had to go and get a new company to do our screed. Um, so, you know, we haven't, we haven't um, taken any time off. We've still, still been going on a few bits on the outside, the front gates of the house. Um, and different things like that. Um, so it's, 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 it has moved on, but uh, as you can see, um, we now have our screed poured. This was score, uh, poured about 24 hours ago. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the underfloor heating pipes all being uh, laid, um, and then a little bit of the screed going down as well, and then I'll come back to you.
as you can see from uh, the little montage we did there, um, our, our underfloor heating pipes went down uh, quite well, so they're very, very neat. So the screen is in now, as you can see, um, as I pan around here. Um, it's a really nice finish on it. There's still a bit of drying out. I think it dries about one millimeter for every 24 hours once the initial drying stage has happened to kind of harden everything. So to be fully dry, for 50 mil, we're going to be talking the cuts of two months. Um, but it's it's good to walk on now. Uh, you can still see there's a few damp patches, but it's only really kind of like a surface residue. Um, it's absolutely fine to walk on. Um, we will need to put up a scaffolding because we want to start painting this room and kind of taking off any little bits of mold. Um, but we're going to leave that a few days just because we don't want that pressure of the, the scaffolding going on, even though we have wheels and all that. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very neat job. We have our expansion edge. We've already cut off a little bit of our expansion edge here. Um, and then that runs in flush as well with our upstand for our door. And that basically means that our wood floor can go in there and we have just a nice finish there. A very, very small step, I would say, probably about six, seven mil of a step onto the uh, sliding part of the door there. So so that will be um, really, really nice when it's finished. And it's a very, very tidy job, as you can see from what we did previously in our uh, video, putting down the expansion edge. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really nice, tidy job. There's an awful lot of off-cut waste, as you can see as well. So we'll have to get rid of that. Um, we obviously have all of our off-cuts of our foam. Um, and as I've been cutting, I've been vacuuming up just to keep the place nice and tidy. It's very, very important now at this stage that we keep the place as dust-free and as clean as possible. You can see there's little bits of kind of a residue mold there just from the drying out process. We're going to start taking all that off. We've already done some of it upstairs and we use our little orbital sander here with a very, very fine uh, grip pad and a low speed and it just uh, rips straight through it. So any type of little bits like that, uh, splash mark, etc. there, we can take all of that off. So um, we had all of our underfloor heating pipes uh, laid and that was a really, really nice clean job. There was a membrane put down on that, a reflective membrane by a company called Roth. Um, and then all of the pipe as well is from Roth. And as you can see, that is our manifold completed there and all screeded in. So it's a nice clean job. Some of the pipes, obviously the plant room is in the center of the house. So some of the pipes run underneath the wall where that is mounted and head straight out. And then other uh, pipes head underneath this area here and then out to the, to the bathroom and, and bedrooms down in this area. But we're really, really happy with this. Um, I'll explain a little bit shortly about kind of the delay and stuff like that that we had. Um, but it's a really nice tidy job. It took the guys about two hours, believe it or not, to actually pour all of the insulation. So, or all of this screen. So really and truly the time is in the prep. It's not really in actually uh, putting down the liquid screen. It's in all of the prep. So, um, so yeah, so obviously taking our time to do that right was very, very important. As you can see at all the doorways and then any long runs, such as in our hallway here, there are little break points and that's just a piece of MDF, very, very thin MDF card, which is put down and then is cut. So I've already cut some of them up above with the multi-tool and then uh, just a quick sand just to take any uh, undulation off it. And then that means that our, uh, under our floor will be able to run over that. So all of the underlay and the wood floor will run over that and you won't even feel it. We also have the garage done, but I'm just going to show you the house today because the garage is very much rinse and repeat as in the house. So this is our bedroom here. So it's coming together quite well. And as I said, there is that little bit of kind of service mold. Uh, we'll take all of that off. And for anywhere that there's any type of kind of uh, breakthrough on the uh, window areas where the beads are, we have a seal and paint which neutralizes all that and acts as a water barrier. Uh, for any stains and anything like that coming through. So, so very, very happy uh, with how all of that has gone. And uh, as you can probably agree, it is a very, very neat and tidy job. Very, very quick. I've run around the house in a few different areas with the level and it is absolutely bang on level. Um, we did have some areas where uh, there was undulations in the floor and stuff like that and with the swell from the TLA 
uh, insulation that we laid. There were some areas that were higher than others at corners and different things like that. But the liquid screen took all of that out. So we've got a perfect uh, coverage there. And we're averaging about 48 mil of cover. So it's a good good thickness. Um, and it's going to be perfect for when we do our uh, turn on our underfloor heating and get all of that done. So as I said, guys, um, you know, it took it a bit of time to get all of this done. We laid our uh, underfloor heating pipes on top of the hardened uh, TLA insulation approximately two weeks ago. And only yesterday did we get a chance to actually pour the screed. So unfortunately, we got let down on actually pouring the screed. I don't really know what the reasons are behind that um but we were lucky we got a, a really nice bunch of guys who are quite local to us here they're only 10 minutes away they came in yesterday morning they were here just after 7 a.m uh they had a prep of setting all their levels as you saw from earlier on that took about an hour and a half and then as i said it took them about two hours just to pour all the liquid uh liquid screed so it was very very quick it was very very easy very very professional as well to deal with so i'll pop a link to those guys for anybody in ireland that is looking at getting this done they're definitely worth uh worth a shout out um and if you have any questions just let me know but all in all we're very very happy so far um the screed was one of the last big things we needed to get done to drive on and finish the project so we're at a situation now where we're going to be able to turn on our underfloor heating next week our electrician is back in next week as well on his own uh, just to start fitting off lights and sockets and all that. Um, so we're going to have lighting ready to go. We have all of the parts already here. I'm going to do another video about the type of lighting that we went for, what controls we're using, how that integrates with smart home usage with our Google Home. And then I'll talk a little bit about the heat pump. I'll probably do a quick video about how the heat pump is being installed and all that being connected up. Um, so once all that's done, uh, while, the guys, while the guys are working away on that, I suppose, really, what I'm going to start getting done is the painting. So as I said, we'll take off any residue on the walls, fix any little pieces that we need to fix, and we'll start undercoating using our Wagner spray machine. And I'll show you that in another video coming up soon. So we're going to get everywhere undercoated. We're going to do our, our, our base coat of our color and then our finish coat. And really what we want to try and do is get all that done before our kitchen is installed. And we're looking at approximately three to four weeks before that goes in. Um, all going well. We're then obviously going to put down our uh, floor as well. So the idea is that everywhere from the front door right to the back of the large extension here is going to be completely floored and painted by the time the kitchen guys come in. So we've got a, a good deal of work ahead of us, as well as doing some cleanup outside um, after the plasters have finished. So we're gonna get all that done. There's plenty of videos coming up um, showing the floor being laid, painting, um, different things like that. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. I hope you're enjoying the update so far. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you want, you can hit the little bell icon to uh, get notified of when we update a new video. Thanks again for joining us and see you next time.